remember the faster you answer. Oh, hello? Hey, how you doing, Miss Kendra? What's your name, baby? Uh, my name Devon. Devon, where you calling me from? I'm um, currently in Washington, but I'm originally from Texas. All right, so you live in Washington, though? Well, I work in Washington. Okay, get your phone steady, honey. I got you. Oh, shit, this is dope. I see you, Miss Kendra, working and all uh, sweating and doing everything out there. I feel that. That's what's up. Thank you, sweetheart. I, I like that the phone is steady, but now can you rise up? Can you, like, sit up to be more? Okay. I'm in a That's room. good. I, I work with this. Thank you. All right, Devon, right? Yes, ma'am, Devon. Devon, now give me clarity of where you live right now. Uh, I stay in a city called Grand Coulee, Washington. I'm currently working, and uh, I travel for work a lot, so, yeah. So do you consider yourself living in, do you get mail in Washington? I'm from Texas. I'm from Beaumont, Texas. So do you live in, is your home in Texas? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so would you want me to say you live in Texas? Yeah, I, I travel. Uh, I've been to like five different states in the past three years working, so. Okay, let's get to it. What do you do? I'm a SSHO. What's that? A site safety health officer. A uh, site healthy, a site healthy safe officer. Site safety health officer. Site safety health officer. Yes, ma'am. Okay. How old are you, Devon? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. When's your birthday, zodiac sign? Uh, I'm a Pisces, March fifth, nineteen ninety. Pisces. All right. I think. Okay. Which um, you have any children? No, ma'am. No kids. All right, so this is Devon. He's a, a, SA, a site safety health officer, a Pisces, 32, no kids. Um, lives between Washington and Texas? Well, Washington, Texas, Detroit, Florida. She he travels a lot for work, so he's, yeah. over, he's around the world. So let's yeah. get it. Okay. So what kind of woman are you looking for, Bull? Uh, a, a genuine woman who... uh don't mind progression uh seeing things in life that they've never seen or done before and just uh you know living life uh with good hygiene of course hey, what do I, with bad hygiene? I live in grand coulee but i'm from beaumont texas okay have you met women with bad hygiene what have i ever ran into a bear you said with good hygiene have you met women with bad I, hygiene yeah, of course. Sometimes you, I used to work in the call center. I used to work in the call center with all the women, and you pass by the women's restroom. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, we'll, we'll leave it at that. All right, what's some other deal breakers besides bad hygiene? Uh, a woman that's broke, ain't got no money. Uh, I ain't gonna say educational, because I tried women who were doctors and all that, and I can't seem to... Uh, leave a hood female alone so you ain't got to be educated you know what i'm saying as long as you know how to make some money uh take care of things house and home and can cook you said you like hood girls yeah i like a female from the streets from the projects and they take care of themselves especially them light skin with the on um, lace fronts and the um yeah man that's one of my weaknesses i ain't lying boy bad yellow ice spice mulatto man shit. yeah <laughs> from the projects that's your preference nah that's not my preference but I think it's gonna have to be because I tried women who made I've dated doctors and you know mechanical engineers and you know a woman who make over 100k that drive like she can't take back seat you know what I'm saying and it's kind of hard for a man to allow a woman to take front seat I ain't saying it can't be done it's just hard, you know, and I've had my trials and tribulations, you know what I'm saying? I used to be a player back in my day, Miss Kendra. Not playing no more? Not no more. Nah, not no more. Okay. You have no kids. Do you want kids? Yeah, of course. I want a, um, a Smelly Jr., Devon Smelly Jr. Okay. Do you want, could the woman have kids already? Uh, I always figured I was going to be a still daddy. But maybe one or two, maybe one. Yeah, one. Yeah, but I don't like introducing myself to a child until I know it's official. So I ain't trying to meet your kids and, and hell now. Nah. But yeah. Um. 
since you travel so much, does this woman have to be located anywhere? Uh, no, not really. Not really. All right. What's the age range? Travel, Say it again, I, honey. As long as she got money to buy her a plane ticket, you know what I'm saying? I might throw a little two or three hundred dollars to help her out. Right? But yeah, nah, I ain't paying now. Nah. Most I do is probably take you out to lunch or something. Wait a minute, let's get clarity of what you just said. So she <laughs> has to buy the plane ticket to meet you? Yeah. Why why would I be the one to buy the plane ticket for her to come when she got a, a, a dude back home who ain't paying shit and, and buzzing up every other night? No, nah, hell no. Nah. I mean, I will, but we got to talk about that. I got that 90-day rule, just like the women used to do back in the day, 90 days, and then I'll buy you a plane ticket. <laughs> yeah. Wait, okay. Um, This is Devon. Oh, wait. Well, a couple of things. So when you say you give her two hundred, three hundred dollars, what would you give her that money for? A little two or three hundred to help uh lower the fees, cause uh. Oh, man, for the plane ticket. Eight hundred dollars, and when I met, it's remote, so it's gonna cost her by a little seven, eight hundred to get here. So yeah, I. Uh, That's for first class tickets. First class, Miss Kendrick. I ain't never. No, nah, I just started flying four years ago. Oh, we doing too much. You talking about first class? Look, baby, I can't. Hey, nah, I can't help you, Miss Kendra. Like a woman like you, Miss Kendra, I ain't gonna lie. I try to be sweet and say the right things that I don't mean just to try to be able to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about money. Oh, Lord. I, I ain't cheap neither. Oh, you're cracking me up. No, here, here's the deal. Um, I do fly first class. But when you said eight hundred dollars, I mean normally that's come. Sometimes my first class tickets cost around eight hundred dollars, so that's why I thought you were talking about a first class ticket. When I don't ride first class, I can find tickets for less than five hundred dollars. Oh, Kendra, I ain't gonna lie. I always thought you was a beautiful woman. And I said if I saw you in person, I would hit on you. But you talking about that normal man? I would walk right past you. <laughs> they, what hell now? Nah. I know. No, my but listen. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you're willing to spend eight hundred dollars on a plane ticket, you could buy a first class ticket. Oh, shit! I don't know. Gee, I guess. Well, she it's cheaper than that, and I might can do it. Damn. <laughs> no, no, no. It might. I mean, all plane tickets depend on how early you buy them, where you're going. There's a right. lot of different factors. I, but I didn't... before, I, I would just say this: before I was flying first class, I could find tickets for three hundred, four hundred dollars. So that's why when you said eight hundred dollars, I brought up like, oh, you're gonna fly her first class. Oh damn, shit. I, I guess cause I don't know, Miss Kendra. I just started flying three, four years ago because of my ex. She turned me on. And that's why I love women. Cause they'll put you on some shit that no man can ever do. That's why I don't fuck with women. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, nah, I just thought nah. Eight hundred dollars, man, that's a rent. That's two of my car. Okay, okay, let's keep going. All right, so you kind of mentioned it when you said you like light-skinned mulatto girls. Does the woman got to look a certain way? Nah, my first love was Kendra off belly, so I really love dark-skinned women. No, her name was Keisha off belly. Keisha, yeah, yeah. Keisha. I, yeah, her. She's fine in the motherfucker. I wonder where she is. I need to go follow her Instagram or something. <laughs> So you're open to all all shades, complexion. Uh, a black woman, yeah. Black I, woman only. I, I try to miss white women. They smoke Marlboro cigarettes. I don't like white women. Like that. <laughs> so you can't mess with a white woman because she smokes Marlboro cigarettes. I ain't say I couldn't mess with her. I just couldn't date. I don't know. If we could be in a. My mom would be mad in the motherfucker if I brought a work. I could, but she said I could bring Mexican and black. So, yeah. Oh, your mama said you could bring Mexican and black to the house? I asked mom, what if I brought a white woman home? She said, I'm not her son anymore if I bring a white woman home. Whoop. She's not her son anymore. Okay. All right, so we asked the preference for black women and Mexican women. You mentioned a couple times about money. Does she have to make a certain amount of money? Uh, I ain't never used to make no money, so... Not really. She just got to have that mentality on progressing, and, you know, having goals and admirations and, you know, building foundation. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not a kid no more. So 
I wish I was on that type of time, but now I'm on that type of time. And she, I, I can understand, but I also know how I and mean, what it does, what it takes to um, make it. So if she got the drive, then uh, she ain't got the probably about fifty k, sixty k. Okay, fifty or sixty k. All right, boo. Let's do the Kendra cam. That's when we see your full body. Oh, uh, I got some underarmers on. They not draws, but they underarmers. So let me see. Uh. <laughs> Oh. Why do you have one? Why I'm do you a, have those on? I'm in a one bedroom apartment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. on a Kool Aid t shirt with, with onesies? Yeah. I'm a long, tall dude. You okay. see what I'm saying? Okay, sit down. We, we see too much of your <laughs> friend. <laughs> Why do you have that on? I'm <laughs> working on third degree weather, so it get cold. And also, I'm athletic. Uh, I skateboard, play basketball, so I'm always moving, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, I got to Breathe the phone down again, baby. Breathe the phone down a little bit. All I right. You. Uh, you said the woman, uh, you said the woman can't have kids, right? Yeah, she can have one, one, uh, one bad little motherfucker. I ain't tripping. One bad little motherfucker. Oh, uh, yeah. Two? Unless she make food, unless she get food stamps, that's a plus. Cause I'm always down to buy food stamps, Miss Kendra. I made it out the hood, but it, the streets are always in me. So yeah, if you got food stamps, we can talk. Oh my, are you being serious, Devon? Yes, ma'am. Okay, if we have food stamps, that will help you out. Devon, what was it? Go ahead, honey. Brown, you know I ain't. I'm, I'm hardly gutted right now. I'm out here getting it. Uh. You see, I got a bobcat satchel. I killed the bobcat the other day. Made a satchel out of them. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out here. You killed a bobcat and made a purse out of it. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I killed the bobcat. I went hunting and, and killed the moose. I know how to fish, uh, hunt and gather. You know, I'm self-sufficient. If we were to have a, a attack, I'll be in the woods right now. Take care of myself. I don't know what y'all gonna do, but I'm ready. Shit. But yeah, I'm one of them type of dudes. I know how to fix cars, uh, mow the lawn, uh, trim the trees. Uh, I know how to cook, and I know how to move furniture. So yeah, it's so much. I got a lot of uh, what what's that word? Amenities. You know that word, Miss Kendra. Amenities. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll go with that. Yeah, let's go with that. We'll go with that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, Devon. When was the last time you was intimate with someone? You don't have to answer. Oh shit. Um probably probably like last week. Yeah, about last, last week. Last week? Where you at in Washington? Yes, ma'am. Is she an option to be with? No. She was an option to see and be around for that moment and period of time, but no. Why is she not an option for anything long term? Ain't no black women out here. She ain't black. Oh, it was a white woman you slept with? I don't know what she was. She wasn't black. How'd you meet her? Talking, met her in person, walked through the mall looking clean and nice and smelling good, and she approached me asking about what kind of ice cream I had. And you already know how them conversations start. Yeah. You had sex that same day? No. It was, I, I, no, I don't just give this valuable. This cost. I, you got to pay me. Shit, but nah, it, it, I say about a good three, four weeks. <laughs> Just a minute. Okay, wait, but what do you mean the woman has to pay you to get some? Hmm. See, you putting words in my mouth, Miss Kendra. I said she would have to. I ain't saying she have to, because I'm a man. I got these before anything, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, you in the club, they got a 40 year old woman, see a tall, long, six, five, dark black man, sometimes they'll pay a little something just to, you know what I'm saying, put that thing up on them, drop that thing off on them. So are yeah. you 6'5"? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay, you're 6'5". So you yeah. have, women have approached you and offered you money to, to be with you? No, nah, women don't approach men. They, they do in the slick ways, like, oh, let's go out to eat. Knowing you ain't got no money, how you gonna pay for it? Yeah, so that type of shit. You okay. know? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. Devon, <laughs> why, why do you think you're single? Huh? Huh? Say you know, again, baby. 
you know you got you one of them little hood dudes in Chicago that you be calling up at two o'clock in the morning to come fuck with you. Ooh, ooh. I don't know what kind of woman you think I am, um, but I don't have to do things like that. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to be funny. Let me stop. <laughs> no, it's all good. I, I, I'm enjoying you, actually. You're very entertaining to me. <laughs> but listen, Devon, back to you. Uh, yeah. Why do you think you're single? Oh. Uh, dang, that's a good question. Well, my ex broke up with me. Uh, I was out working, making good money. I mean, I make a hundred, a hundred or more a year on, you know what I'm saying, easily. And, you know, she just left me all of a sudden. No, she said, uh, you know, insecurity. She said I'm insecure. She said I you're had, insecure? Yeah, I had to look up the definition because I don't feel insecure, but in, in, insecurity is like a broad spectrum of, you know, definition so you could be insecure without looks or money and stuff you know and she was just a very blunt person and she told me i was insecure and i didn't believe her but i, I think i do believe her. i don't but, know i might so she ended things with you yes ma'am okay so why do you think women be lucky to be with you divine uh, she i told you we have a holocaust or something i apologize i told you we have something to where we need to survive I know how to cook. I know how to hunt, fish, cut yards, fix, fix cars. I dress well. I smell good. Uh, I take care of my business. Uh, priorities first. I'm knowledgeable. I'm from the streets. Uh, I'm a gentle giant. I'm tall, dark, long, handsome, big feet. I got qualities of a basketball player. Uh, man, there's so many things I can name. You know what I'm saying? But everybody, you know, nobody's perfect, so... It is what it is. <laughs> All right, so listen, this is Devon. He lives a couple places. Um, he's a site safety health officer. He has yep. no kids. 32 is a Pisces, so date a woman with one badass kid. Um, yep. You have to just make 50 to 60K. He, oh. has a, he, he likes Project Girls. Um, he tried the doctors, but that didn't work for him. He does want a child. He, you have to, he's not, you have to buy your own plane ticket to see you, to see him. He's not, <laughs> he's not buying you first class, um, but he may give you a couple of hundred dollars on the plane ticket. Now, question, when the woman flies to come see you, is she staying in a hotel or is she staying at your house? I'm stay. That's up to her. That just showed me that she at least committed before I spend my money, because it ain't about me spending my money. It's about, you know, coming together to make something happen. So what I ain't about what about you flying to go see her instead? Yeah, yeah I'm dropping my down. She always travel. You know, I've been okay. so places. I'm a nigga from the hood, living in the mountains and canes right now. I, I'm sorry, Miss Kenya. I be fine, honey. Um, he's six five. Um, his mother told me he only could date black women and Mexican women. <laughs> <laughs> Why I, are you laughing? These are the things you told me. Tell me because they tripping, but they know they see something in me. I know. I see you looking. People what did yeah. the comments say? I can't even see them right now. I only see two or three of them, and I just assume after that. I don't really pay attention. I'm, I'm more so paying attention to Miss Kendra with her beautiful looks and that uh, large smile, that a bright end day, and, uh, uh, you know, yeah. All right. Let's do it, Devon. All right, get on your Facebook page, honey. Uh, my Facebook page, I'm sorry, page is Devon Edmondson. Devon Edmonds. Okay. Listen, you keep me posted how it goes. All right, yeah, Miss Kendra, I appreciate you, man. You be safe and drink you some water. Thank you, boo. I will. Bye, sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs>